Welcome, folks. I am Jabby Kuei, joined by Chara Kirk. What's up? We're looking at Raya and the Last Dragon teaser trailer from uh, Disney. This comes from Movie Clips Trailers, the YouTube channel. But uh, this is based on a lot of Southeast Asian influences, which uh, has us looking forward to it because we have Southeast Asian influences Influence. in our DNA. So that makes us happy. <laughs> Tuk Tuk like auto rickshaw Tuk Tuk? Yeah, so Tuk Tuk, Tuk Tuk in Thailand is basically like the auto rickshaw in India. The engine is a motorcycle, but it's got two wheels at the back and then it's a motorcycle at the yeah. front. And back in the day before we had taxis, that's what we got around on. And they're still super fun to, you know, take a ride in if you're a tourist, but most Thais won't actually take a Tuk Tuk because they try and extort you for so much money these days. You may as well just take a cab. This has yeah. a like ninja slash Indiana Jones feel to it, which is kind of interesting. I mean, she's like a Tomb Raider type thing, you know, archeologist looking for something, but I mean, she's also a protector. I was reading some of the comments earlier and a lot of people were saying it was kind of like Avatar. It definitely has that feel. I mean, especially with that mask. Yeah, you know? I got so excited when I saw that mask because that is like a classic Thai, um, it's, it, it's basically a mask representing a giant. So they're like these mythological beings. And so he's wearing that mask. It also looks like a, a kabuki mask. Yeah, but not quite. <laughs> Why? What's the difference between that and a kabuki well, mask? Well, uh, the kabuki mask has a different look to it because the, the artwork on that is more, uh, to me, that's more Thai than than Kabuki. I, I mean, I don't to know. the untrained eye, it all looks the same, to be perfectly honest. I it's mean, like all the, Asians look the same, right? Well, no, they don't. I mean, you can see a discernible difference at a cursory glance if you were to put like a, a Korean person and a Chinese person next to each other, you could probably right. see a difference. But with those kinds of masks, unless you know the folklore, the tales, and you've been looking at those things for a while, they might appear to be the same to you. For me, I'm not super familiar with either one, bad Asian. So to me, it looks quite similar. Her outfit does definitely have the Water Tribe look from Avatar. Her overall appearance being darker complexion has the sort of Water Tribe look, which I'm into. I think that this is super cool because the easy go-to thing would be to make all your Asians like very pale skin, like Mulan, which yeah. I'm not against either in terms of like that being represented in a movie, but it's great that they have a variety of colors going on because the thing that often people don't realize is that Asians have such extreme diversity to them. Even India alone, you wouldn't know it, but not everyone looks like Apu over there. It's such a diverse rainbow of colors over there. 
that uh, you don't realize until you watch the movies or you go there yourself. The same thing with any part of like, with China you have light skinned Chinese and dark skinned Chinese and so mm -hmm. they decided to hit somewhere in the middle favoring the um, slightly darker complexion which I, I'm glad they did that because it's, it'd be very easy to do what is typical. For me it was super exciting to see just the amount of attention to detail that they'd done in terms of the costuming and, and the set. Obviously like I have a bias because I'm Thai so when I see the buildings and stuff and they and they look like the sorts of buildings that we used to have in Thailand and a lot of the temples still have that structure with the kind of cool eaves and, and stuff and the costuming of the characters, the silver that she was wearing on her arms and in her bun that was very reminiscent of like Thai jewelry to me but they've just kind of like added them almost as like a nod to me it doesn't very much feel like oh this is completely Thai you know there's some things like the shape of the bad guy sword I'm like I don't think I've ever seen a Thai sword that looks like that and she's using two sticks which I suppose are more reminiscent of Eskrima which is Filipino stick fighting, stick fighting. Yeah. whereas like in Thailand we would use um, two swords. That's mm -hmm. our style of fighting and it's like a, a thinner sword. So, I mean, I, I think it's just cool overall to, ha to have a, a movie which is even like partially based on Southeast Asian culture. Like it's exciting. Yeah, it is, it is neat to see a screamer. It's, uh, come to think of it, I can't think of too many films that actually represent a screamer. The only one that I can think of that actually showed it and really displayed it is probably Enter the Dragon with Bruce Lee or maybe I'm thinking of the wrong thing. Maybe it's Game of Death, which was his, his supposed which was supposed to be his last movie, but it was incomplete. And I think it was in that film that he demonstrated Eskrima. And so you don't actually see it pop up too often. To the best of my recollection, I can't think of when Eskrima was actually shown in a movie. And so it's neat to finally see that back again. And uh, I'm excited to see what sort of martial arts they put on display here. Obviously, it's going to be limited by the fact that it's an animation, but I feel like with today's technology, it, you know, you have a stronger chance of demonstrating something a lot cooler than you could back in the day with like Mulan or something like yeah, that. Yeah, totally. And also, I mean, just looking at the way she's moving, it already seems super cool to me. And since it is an animation, why not just kind of take it to the limit of what is physically possible? Right. Do you know what I mean? Like you could do really beautiful jumps and... You watch any anime or you watch Avatar the last airbender and it's like there's a lot of cool forms that they show you yeah but as exciting as i found i love avatar it's my favorite show in the world right i just want to put that out there as exciting as those uh fights get it never was really like a fight scene like you see in a live action movie right right and so i'm hoping that what you see here is more representative of what you might see in a live action film given that the fact that they're going to the lengths of showing a scream of sticks i'm like okay yeah. i really am curious like okay what went on behind the scenes did they actually get a choreographer involved this time like a yu and wuping type to actually have fight scene choreography and then like mo capped it or something like yeah, that like yeah. what lengths did they go to i'm curious about that aspect of this obviously it's just a teaser and we're projecting a lot of shit onto it but it's it's really neat to see this at all. I mean, I'm, I'm just excited to see what comes next in the, yeah. in the trailer. It seems a lot of fun. You've got, you've got a dragon. And of course, they have to have a super cute sidekick. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm seeing yeah. the dollar signs already for like the plushy version of a little baby tuk tuk. Yeah. I might take home with me. So it's from the creators of Moana. Animation wise, that was such a beautiful movie. And even the story was really cool. I felt, I, I think I feel like the ending fell a little short for me, but overall I enjoyed it as a movie. Yeah, it was I thought a great it was film. really cool. Just knowing that it's the same filmmakers from that, that actually gets me even more excited to see what they're gonna do here because from that film, I'm like, I would totally watch more of that filmmaking team's animations. This is really cool to see a follow up film from them. When you started talking about this and you said her name was Rhea, I got kind of scared because at first I was like, oh, you know, so many people gave me shit for calling Zendaya Zendaya because in my mind I see that and I go, Aya, Raya. Mm -hmm. And then it's like, her name was Raya. And I'm like, oh, thank God. Like, because <laughs> that's, how, that's how I would have said it. And maybe that's my Thai sensibility coming through or whatever, but I'm like, oh, at least, at least she sounds kind of Asian. You know what I mean? Right. I don't know. That's like a dumb... Super dumb observation. Well, that's fine. Know. But at the end of the day, it's just neat to have more films that uh, give young Asian kids, you know, something to look up to because oftentimes they don't see themselves in movies. They don't see yeah. themselves in the heroic role. It's often just 
ancillary, like the doctor, you know, the scientist or something like that. It's not often you actually have an Asian person in the front seat leading the charge in the movie. And this is all Asian characters. Yeah. So that, that makes it really cool. And you got a badass girl as well, which I appreciate. Although I do wonder and I do hope that maybe she meets like a badass guy friend along the way. I was thinking so, about that while watching it. You know, so we can yeah. have a little bit. Uh, don't get me wrong. I love the girl power. I'm all for it. But recently I feel like there's been a plethora of like girl power animation yeah, well, th and girl power movies, I guess. Right. And so, to what you're saying, we haven't had a, a Disney film like this that was an Asian male. Yeah, well, we had Big Hero 6. I think that's the last one that I can think of where there was like a That's cool, not martial arts. Yeah, yeah, but it was like a cool young boy hero. And, sure. And as much as I love the cool young girl badass, I'm like, well, you know, maybe maybe our little boy children would, would like to have a little I completely forgot too. about Big Hero 6 until you just said it. I love that movie. Yeah, I think I think it's fantastic. I guess you're right. Like there is that. So they have been trying Disney's been trying to balance it out with, yeah. you know, more films that are representative. And so I, I feel like I just put my foot in my mouth a little bit there. You guys, thanks so much for hanging out with us. Uh, check out Achara Kirk on the social media as well as myself. If you feel like doing that, Instagram, Twitter, all that good stuff. I'm Jabby Koi. This is Achara Kirk. Peace out.